In this region, we serve approximately 1.5 million people and who live in a very disparate geographical area. The Cancer Clinical Research Unit at Lund Regional Cancer Program uh, coordinates and operates all of the clinical trials for medical and radiation oncology. Operations of clinical trials can be challenging in the Canadian landscape, specifically to academic cooperative group clinical trials. The Canadian Cancer Clinical Trials Network, or 3CTN, uh, is a network uh, that has been established across Canadian clinical trials groups. It allows for sharing of best practices, but it also provides a very critical source of core funding uh, that allows centres to operate underfunded academic or cooperative group clinical trials that they otherwise wouldn't be able to operate. Both Octane and Capture relate to clinical genomics, which is a, a huge area of interest for the Division of Medical Oncology. So the Ontario-wide cancer targeted nucleic acid evaluation is a collaborative across the province of Ontario where patients are enrolled in and have their tumor sequenced for actionable mutations. The Octane program dovetails nicely into another collaborative project across the country which is CAPTURE, or Canadian Profiling and Targeted Agent Utilization Trial, which is operated by the Canadian Clinical Trials Group. This study uh, allows access to targeted agents depending on the patient's molecular profile. By looking at our patient's pharmacogenetic profile, we are able to really better understand the optimal medication or the dosing of a medication. Here we're really trying to utilize that information in real time so that uh, we can uh, really avoid unnecessarily severe uh, drug toxicities. So we would like to get the dose of the chemotherapy medications correct the first time if possible. We have uh, access to high quality laboratories, technical staff, PhDs, cancer researchers, molecular biology, uh, that facilitate uh, translational research and basic research. We are particularly interested in the manipulation of gene expression so as to increase the activity and diminish resistance to uh, treatments that are available, which are targeted or perhaps more traditional cytotoxic chemotherapy. And by manipulating gene expression within the tumor, we are able to manipulate the level of sensitivity to these drugs. And uh, we have several compounds that uh, we are ready to move towards the clinic and uh, we hope to proceed with commercialization activities in that direction. I believe in the future that this will be something that's generally applicable right across the spectrum of cancer and across the spectrum of humanity. Seven years ago, we were trying to figure out how our patients with melanoma were doing. And so we developed a platform by which we could prospectively follow patients as treatments were introduced to them, really with the idea to more completely capture their outcomes. One important aspect is to follow patients prospective with respect to their quality of life. And we have tools embedded into the platform where we can do that, where we collect patient-derived data regarding their quality of life and their outcome. This has been extremely valuable in being able to uh, really see the full impact of the disease and the treatment on patients with uh, metastatic melanoma. What's becoming increasingly clear is the value of real-world evidence. That is, data on patients who are not necessarily enrolled in clinical trials, but represent the population uh, for which these treatments are generally used. And we really see this as the strength of having a robust uh, registry that the data, in fact, can be shared uh, throughout the world. And the patient experience here in Canada can be um, also compared to the experience in other parts of the world. So the Institute uh, for Clinical Evaluative Sciences, or ICES, is a provincial uh, research organization which really specializes in uh, the use of health administrative data and investigating issues related to population health and healthcare uh, modeling. I think the ability to use real world data and look at population based outcomes is really important when we talk about cancer care. Much of the focus of cancer research is really related to clinical trial research, which only really studies a very small population of our cancer patients. And the ability to evaluate how we deliver cancer care and in the real world how, what the impacts of our cancer treatments are is really important to our patients and, and to their families. The future of cancer research revolves around personalized medicine. We should expect that we 
know as much as we need to know about an individual's cancer in order to direct the appropriate treatment at the right time, at the right dose, with the right drug or right treatment. Utilizing our uh, existing expertise and carrying that personalized medicine theme in the realm of imaging and collaborating with our imaging scientists is going to be key. Uh, but we have emerging uh, expertise in genomics uh, and in tumor immunology that will all come together with a theme of personalized medicine that brings to bear the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. This is what we all need to be striving for.